Hi, my name's Sue Williamson and Josh Honeyset is my son. Josh is 23 years old and his primary disability is intellectual, although he also has medically cardiomyopathy and mental health wise, he's diagnosed with bipolar. I first contacted on track community services when I was living temporarily on the central coast. I'd left the Gold Coast and uh, for my, my own safety after a marriage breakup. And Josh was having a bipolar episode. Everything was a nightmare. I just needed to know there was some sort of light at the end of the tunnel. He wanted to um, live independently and... And in this bipolar episode, that was his focus. Um, so out of sheer desperation, I, I contacted Sandy Rogers at early intervention and the question was, who can help me up there, Sandy? And she suggested Leonie Creighton at On Track. I felt at that stage, at least there was a bit of hope that I had to get through this bipolar episode. Another story, of course, but mental health versus disability, uh, the mental health people telling us it was behavioural and of course we knew it wasn't behavioural and meanwhile he was escalating and things were very, very traumatic. So to have Leone at that stage give me a bit of a, a positive feedback and a bit of encouragement and a bit of understanding was absolutely fantastic. That very first meeting was with David Churik and it was to discuss Josh's placement in supported accommodation. After the meeting, when I really, really was thinking about whether this accommodation was going to suit Josh, how was it going to suit him, etc., I started to get a few little concerns and I was a, a, a bit hesitant to knock back, if you like, the the placement because I was frightened if I did perhaps Josh wouldn't get another opportunity so I agonised over it for a bit. David called me probably about three days later after the weekend and started to discuss the fact that he didn't feel that that placement was going to be suitable for Josh and could I come in and meet with him. You can imagine how relieved I was because straight away I had someone at on track that understood Joshua. At the meeting, David told me about a, a house that was coming up. It wasn't available yet. However, he uh, gave me the address and I was able to go down and look at it and I can't describe the feelings that I had. I saw this house and I knew instantly that this is the beginning of a great life for Josh. And I was with an organisation that was positive and supportive. Rochelle Ivory is the house coordinator. She took the load straight off my shoulders. I couldn't believe it. I thought I was going to have to do all the micromanagement and, of course, I probably drove her mad turning up down there all the time with little notes. But she handled me beautifully as well. And she said, and how are you going? Get what I said. She, where, where, what are you doing? I might have said I'm packing or something. She, where are you? Can believe I said I don't know, Miss. And she said to me, "Are you on the Department of Housing?" I said, "Yes." How old are you? You're over fifty-five. I said, "Yes." She said, "I think we can help you." I just, well, I collapsed. I just started crying and jumped over the desk. And I just couldn't believe it because I had no idea where I was going, no. And I was at the point where I, I would have had to face the fact that I had nowhere to go. So um, the rest is history. Mm. Maz told me about here, and she told me to come and have a look, but I mean, as I say, it was a building site. I did try and get onto it, and they ordered me off. <laughs> they said, you need, work boots, so I went and borrowed a pair of work boots and came back and he said, no, my boss said only employees are allowed on me. <laughs> I also had the reputation for coming past every day and checking it. <laughs> the, build, the builder ended up knowing me. <laughs> so 
So overall, my, my story and my history and my experience with on-track community services and the fact that they've been able to um, assist and support Josh and me, both as a team and independently, means that all everything's under one roof. Um, they, the staff know both of us. I, um, it, it gives me a, a community. It gives me a one-stop shop, if you like, for, for all our needs. And really looking at it realistically, it's just downright sensible. <laughs>